It's no secret that video games appeal to a wide audience. What is less known is that the audience includes people with paraplegia and other disabilities. Modern video game controllers employ a series of buttons, triggers, and joysticks that can confound people who have full use of their hands. But the quad controller employs a series of toggles and switches that can be operated with the lips, tongue, and simple head motions, allowing disabled people without the use of their arms to level the playing field. Hello, my name is Ruben Rios, 29 years old, been a quadriplegic for 10 years now. I was involved in sports in high school, as well as drama, a bunch of other stuff. I've always been real competitive, always want to win. I have relatives I haven't seen in a while come to the house and they play PlayStation, and they're surprised when they see I can play it too. My name is Ryan Blackburn, I'm uh, 26 years old, I broke my neck. I play the Sony video games, it's pretty fun, it's a way for me and uh, friends of mine to be able to compete. My name is Gary. 26 years old, and I like to play video games. He didn't have a paddle, and he just had to watch me play. Now that Cam made him a paddle, he can play with us, and I can't beat him. I like to try every day and play and beat him. I tried my hardest to beat him, so I don't really challenge him anymore. He's too hard to beat. The quad controller is a creation of Ken Yankee Levitz who in 1981 began working on a way to allow disabled people to play games on the Atari 2600. In addition to recreation, the games provide an opportunity for disabled people to socialize and even compete with non-disabled people. There ain't nobody that can beat me. You use your hands or not, I'll still smoke you. <laughs> As games and controllers have grown more complex, the quad controller has adapted to suit the needs of people with limited or no use of their limbs. From virtual golf to modern warfare, the quad controller allows quadriplegic people to game on.